awareness is the one, it's not a thing, but the one thing that is not of this world of form. Right? Everything else that appears has a certain characteristic of form, right? It has a duration or a shape or um, mm. a, a feeling to it that, or a, a size. It has a color. It has, a, has certain characteristics, right? A sound, certain characteristics, a thought, has a certain duration, feeling, feels like it feels, right? Object within awareness. So all of the, whatever appears within awareness is, as a, as a lifespan, comes and goes. And the one thing that doesn't is this consciousness, this awareness, or just this capacity to notice we all have. Already as is, does require improvement. But we've been taught that what's real is this manifest world, is the material world, is matter, atoms, molecules, etc. That's what's real. And when someone talks about awareness or consciousness, it sounds a little, little ethereal, right? I mean, it could also be called spirit, as long as we don't think about it as an external entity out there in the cosmos somewhere. And most of the time, we differentiate between matter and mind. But I'm, I'm drawing the distinction even before mind. I'm putting mind and matter out there in the objective, so-called objective world. But when we really look at that objective world, it's not quite as solid as um, we might imagine. Because it's on the only way we know it ever is that it appears within awareness. So what most scientists would like us to feel, nearly all scientists, maybe a few more recently have sort of switched sides, but what nearly all scientists feel is that matter is solid. And then they try to figure out how consciousness can arise from molecules and neurons and chemistry and electricity and how that somehow produces consciousness. But the only thing that we can experience ourself directly for certain is consciousness. The only thing we can actually be certain of. And then there are appearances within consciousness, right? All the experiences all the thoughts, all the feelings, all the sensations. That's what appears within consciousness. But the only way we know that, of the, the only thing that we know of that appearance is that it appears in consciousness. So which is more fundamental? 